Ladies and gentlemen, Henry Confidential here, and as you read the title, this is going to be a double feature for both of our semifinal matches going up into the final. So if you're not familiar with the competitors and their road that they took, uh, two um, very high-quality matches that uh, both these competitors had won. Uh, Bill Carriola, he defeated Kirk Kolakowski in round one, and Jake Cruikshank, he defeated Joseph Olivas in the last round. So... These players are no slouches. Uh, Jay, what, what are your thoughts when you when you read the title and you see that these two players are playing against each other? Uh, this was a some sort of round robin tournament because they both beat players of a large, uh, you know, a high caliber. Uh, then going back and watching the matches and hosting one of those matches, you can see how it happens. They both know their stuff, and I can't wait to see uh, both of them going up against each other. Uh, Round three is going to be missing on missing out on a great player after this match. You ain't lying, and uh, I'm I'm definitely excited to uh, see what uh, we're going to get from them. But we're going to go ahead and see what they have to say, and you know we'll go from there. Of course, it's me. All right, sorry, just getting my required third cup of coffee today. So here we are. It is the semifinals. Uh, somehow the dream season just keeps rolling on, but, you know, it should be fun. I've never played Jake before, so I don't know where his strengths are. I, but I don't know, you know, uh, I, I've managed to pull nothing but surprises, so maybe I got one more good one in me. I don't know. We'll see. Let's have some fun with it. Hey, uh, there's a reason that I personally call uh, Bill the Biller Killer, and it's not because he's a killer that I know of. The guy knows his shit, and uh, as these games, you know, go deeper and deeper, I start to feel a little more competitive and feel a little bit more like, ah, I gotta win this one. So uh, that's where my head's at right now. Great tournament so far. Back to you, Henry. <laughs> <laughs> never, never skips a beat, Jake, with your uh, with your personality, and that and that's why I love I love doing these uh, pre talks as you know character based, but not fake characters, genuine characters, just who you are as per people, as geeks and nerds, and that's what we are, and it shows on stuff like that. Uh, Jake, both these competitors are there. You have the doc. Are you ready? I am ready, buddy. And uh, Bill Carriol, are you ready? Oh yeah, let's do this. And Jake, I'm sure you're ready, but I gotta ask you anyway. Are you ready? Yep. All right. Uh, Jay, do you want to go first or second? Mm, I'll go first. All right. Start them off. All right, guys. Uh, your first question in round number one, the locked in round. Oh yeah. What hold on, actor? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm sorry. Make that. I didn't hey. make that <laughs> animation for no. You didn't reason. make it for nothing. <laughs> yeah. <we're using laughs> that, <damn it. laughs> uh, everybody's been here before. Everybody knows the format. Uh, your first question: What actor has played a U.S. fighter pilot, a race car driver, and a rancher? And just a reminder: even though you know, I hate saying the rules because you should know. But if you need to go to multiple choice, you're more than welcome to. <laughs> Uh, Jay, uh, do you want to let the people know at home why you're dressed so nicely? Uh, it's none of their business. It was barely yours. Fair. I'm wearing a wife beater, so <laughs> it is what it is. Five, four, three, cats and dogs, mass hysteria. Uh, two and one. Bill, let's see. Are we? I'm assuming we're both locked in? Yeah, yeah, we're both locked in. Yep. Time cruise. And Jake. Yeah, I don't know what the rancher one is, but Tom Gers. All right, and uh, that is correct. And, uh, you know, <laughs> if anyone is, wants to comment below Christian Bale, we wouldn't hate you. Uh, question two, with the score currently 2-2. Two to two. What comedic director played the trainee on his first day of work in Waiting? As I update the scores on screen, because... Comedic tracks, actor? Uh, comedic director. director. Don't forget, multiple choices available. Yeah, I've never seen this movie, so I'm going to need that. All right, Bill's going to go to multiple choice, and Jake, I'm going to give him five, four, three. I'm locked in. Two, one. All right, so this is just for Bill. Jake, mm -hmm. uh, is it A, John Francis Daly, B, 
B, David Gordon Green, C, Jonathan Levine, or D, Phil Lord? Let's take a wild guess here. Jay, right. as someone who uh, knows this movie, is it is it is it real? Is it is it kind of accurate in some places? Yes, five. sadly, unfortunately, five, yes. four, three, <laughs> two, one. Jake for two points potentially. I, it just seemed like he would be in this movie. It's not though, obviously, Kevin Smith. And not in the movie, Phil. surprisingly. B. Unfortunately, both incorrect. It was John Francis Daly. Uh, I, I know comedy is a stretch on vacation, but game night is very fun, funny. So he is game night is hilarious. <laughs> Jay, take it away for the question three. Most definitely. Question number three, y'all. What famous character name does the girl within the crew share in the film Don't Breathe? I'm debating if I'm going to be putting. Uh, I'm going to. I'm going to go to multiple. Same. In editing. All right. Okay, guys. Your your multiple choice options are A. Joker. B. Pink. C. Rocky. Or D. Dude. Audience, comment below uh, those famous character names and what movies they're from. Because famous is subjective. Five. Four. No, oh, Pink's from the first three, Charlie's Angels, right? Two. I thought the singer Pink, but I don't know. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> She's uh, in the first Charlie's Angels movie. Fun Fair fact. Enough. Bill, for one point. Uh, C. And Jake, for one point. Rocky? Hey, yo, Adrian, let's, go, let's go rob some houses. Even if it's an old guy. Uh, that is correct. <laughs> uh, question four. Which Friday the 13th film had both Crispin Glover and Corey Feldman? Do you need the full title or just the number? However you want to go about it. There's, you know, it's within the franchise, so. It's not it's not a horror question, so I'm not going to be, you know, a nitpicky. So however you want to do it. Okay. If it was like a horror category, then maybe, you know, we would be more picky. Yeah. But this one, just which 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 film? Five? Are we both locked in? Yep. yep. Five, four, three, two, one. Jake. Part four, the final chapter. And Bill. It is part four. And you were both correct. Part four, two points. Uh, question number five, y'all. I uh, just want to preface this by saying rip. Uh, what family member of Chadwick Boseman's dies at the beginning of 21 Bridges? Facts rip. Moment of silence. Locked. I never saw it, but I'm going to just go guess. Go for a while. Right. He's Adam Sandler. He's just going with it. Five, you know not? four, three, two, one. Bill. Uh, father. And Jake. Uh, my dad just told me about this movie. I think it's his sister. Jake. Uh, it is his father. Oh, really? Yep. When he was a young boy. Jeez. But I couldn't I couldn't have a son as a multiple choice option. So I didn't give that fact of him being a young boy. <laughs> your fifth uh, your final question in round one. What kind of business does Heath Ledger's Skip own in Lords of Dogtown? Uh, another rip. That is also true. I, I will also take a multiple on this one. Jake? I have never seen this movie. Um, Five. Uh, I'll, I'll lock. All right, Jake's locked in. So just for Bill here, is it A, a skate shop, B, a surf shop, C, a record store, or D, a bar? Fuck. Jake's poker face is not great on this one, and he is going to have to show his board. Five, four, <laughs> three. We don't play that game here. I want all the wrong answers. Two, one. Jake, for no oh. points. 
Uh, it's auto shop, of course. And Bill for one point. And I guess B. B <laughs> is surf shop, and that is correct. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, shit. Fun fact. <laughs> it's a movie about skateboarding. Yeah, a surf shop owner sponsors skateboarders. It's it's uh, based on a true story. Well, uh, yeah, so, because... I, I, yeah, I've seen the documentary. Great movie, actually. You know, it was actually really good. Uh, trash filmmaking, but it was on purpose. Chadwick? Chad? No, not Chadwick. Uh, Catherine Hardwick. Uh, so we're going to move into the plus one round. Oh, Ooh, fancy, fancy graphics. Terrible uh, sound. Yeah, exactly. Fancy graphics. Terrible sound. You know, it's just, you know, it's what we work We're workshopping it. God damn it. The budget. <laughs> uh, uh, the plus one, as you read on the screen. Uh, Bill, do you remember who your plus one is? I believe it's 90s. And Jake, do you remember your plus one? Romantic comedies. Uh, Jake, do you, have a preference of the, uh, do you have a preference of those two categories? Which one do you want to read from? Uh, <laughs> you know what? I'm going to I'm gonna stick. I'm gonna stick with reading. Uh, stick with reading the 90s. All right, so then you'll start them off. And no multiple choice here, so all two Most points. Most definitely. Yeah. All right. Guys, your first question in plus one in 90s is, in Interview with a Vampire, Brad Pitt starts off his story from what century? You mean like what century is in when he begins to tell it, or what yeah. century is he in when he when like when he goes back to start yeah. the story? The story. Yeah, which what one? When he, begin, when he begins to yeah. when he begins to tell. <sighs> yes. Okay. Maybe a couple of seconds after the clarification. Five, four, three, two, one. Bill, 90s man. Blind guess, 18th century. And Jake. Uh, I thought 20th century. It was specifically 17, like 56 or something like that. So yes, it is the 18th century. What is the name of the female clique in 13 going on 30? Oh, Bill, this one's not in Fiance Knowles DVD collection? No, it is. I've just never seen it. I'm sorry, Fiance Knowles. I am so sorry. Well, Bill, if, 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 this, if this video gets less than 20 views, you can have this as a freebie for a Bill Cariola classic. Five, four, three, two, one. Mark her down. Uh, Jake. Uh, is it the plastics? Different movie. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I thought they stole it. Uh, I, I'm sorry, fiance Knowles. So, uh, I didn't have time you should be sorry because uh, we're looking for the six chicks. Six chicks. Okay. Jake's no longer allowed to sit with us. <laughs> you don't even go here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, question number three in the nineties. Uh, how many strangers are put to the test of survival? in cube Ooh, ooh, it's been a minute i love those types of reactions you're like okay definitely don't know it off the rip but i like it jay how would you have done so far i would have gone perfect in round one and missed uh the last question that we just asked Okay, fair enough. And maybe and most really likely and most likely that interview with the vampire question. Fair, because you know, we don't know how to word things around here that I write. Five, four. That's that's very true. Three, two. It's one. okay. Yeah, it's not great. Uh Bill. Uh five. And Jake. Six? That is a huge two points. Six point. Six is the correct I, answer. God damn it, I almost erased five for six. <laughs> Huge two points for Jake oh, on that one. Definitely needed after that uh, interview with the vampire. Oh, oh, yeah, there was one. Oh, okay, now I remember. Yeah. Uh, back over to rom-coms. What is Cameron Diaz saving up for in Bad Teacher? <laughs> Look at the non-rom-com the, guy the going lo- straight to the board. 
the LeBron James Michael Jordan <laughs> argument that Jason <laughs> Siegel has. <laughs> it's the best That's the ever. only argument you have. It's the only need. The only argument I need. It's the only one I need. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it, it it gets wild that one. It is definitely a bad, you know, teacher. Five, four, three. Honestly, not as bad as you would think, though. But also not great. Two, one. Jake, is it a boob job? And Bill, breast implants. Yeah, we looked at both carnations yep. of that uh, wording. Sorry for being so crude. Yeah, it was I mean, God. <laughs> Uh, your final question in the realm of 90s. Who directed the film Kronos? Oh, look at that. The other person now on this one went straight to the board, so sometimes you can have some fun with these. Somebody's dog is drinking out of a toilet. Very loud. That? It, it is a water bowl, but he's definitely going in. Going ham on that water, Chris. Yeah. <laughs> just, like, just like my question right, it's dog water. Five. Four, Facts. Three, two. You one. said it. I gotta agree. You ain't lying. Uh, '90s. Bill. I have no idea. I'm gonna guess Joel Schumacher. And Jake. Uh, Guillermo del Toro. His name Another is del Taco. big two points, and yeah. now it is 12 to 11. So if only Jake listened very well on that first question of this round, we might have a different game. But go ahead, I, going into I your... can't wait to watch this again. I, I, I'm nervous. To Bro, watch you so explained that like a dyslexic. Don't I probably did. Because I was like, I, I don't know. How do, I, I, felt, I thought it was pretty good. Uh, your last question in round two. Rom-coms. What city does the big sick take place in? I actually really really enjoyed this movie. Yeah, it's it's a banger. That's all I can say. This movie fucks, bro. This movie slaps. Never saw it. I heard good things. Oh, Bill, you gotta watch it. Sick while this was in theater. Five, four, three, big oof. Two, one. Jake. Uh, Is it Los Angeles? And Bill. No, I guess Chicago. One of you is correct, (laughs) and it is Bill. To extend the oh! lead. Wow. Bill Bill is definitely, oh! he, he definitely sold his soul to the devil this entire tournament, and it's showing some of these. I'm loving it. Facts. Uh, so before we get into that, let me show off this animation, because it is the database. We just uh pretty much, you know, switched up a little bit name-wise. Uh, so we have a score of 14, Bill, 11, Jake, Going into round three, which is the database round, and the winner of this match is moving on to the finals of Total Recall 2 here on There Will Be Trivia, There Will Be Movies. So, I'm excited. Hopefully you guys are, but we're not going to waste any time asking about that. Bill, you want to flip heads or tails? Heads. And it landed on heads for you, so you get the heads ones. And uh, Jake, you get tails. So, uh, Jay, you give me head, you give me tail, tails, you give me head, or what? Uh, I, you know what? I, I, I enjoy some head. There you go. All right, you take heads, and I'll take tails for Jake, because you were behind. Jake, <clears throat> just for you, if you, I don't remember if it was if it was uploaded or not, but I did one of these where the one of the players yeah. just yelled out the answer, and I was like, that's not how this goes. Not that was not for you. That was me. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Jake, 19, 1976, drama, history, and thriller, and your co leads, Martin Balsam. Jack Warden and Robert Redford. Uh, this is uh, all the president's men, and that is correct to come within one point. We're sticking with you because you're still behind. <laughs> Your three pointer. Your year is 1975. Your genres are action, sci-fi, and sport. Please pick two of the following. Director, top build, and hint. I'll take... I'll take a... Top build and hint, please. Okay. And, uh... No, there's no reason to think otherwise, but just for the people at home, can you just have your hands up just, you know, during this section? 
Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah I I know just right. just the angle wise, just so we can okay. see. All right. Thank you, buddy. Top building hints. Your year is nineteen seventy five. Your genres are action, sci-fi, and sports. Your hint is ultra violent sport, and your top build is James Khan. It's rollerball. We have a new leader. It is in fact rollerball. All right, so uh, Jay, take it away for Bill, who could potentially tie it up with this two pointer. All right, Bill, your two pointer. Your year is nineteen ninety one. Your genres are drama, history, and thriller. And your co-leads are Walter Matthau, Jack Lemon, and Gary Oldman. JFK. For two big old points. What no no pun intended, but what a snipe. Whew. Oh man, you just blew my you you, you blew my mind with that question. Get for it the so lead. fast. Oh god, that's, no, that's me to every tie. night. Yes, to, no. I mean, for the lead here, give him his three, Jay. Oh, okay. Uh, your year is 1983. Your genres are action, sci-fi, and drama, and you get to choose between director, top build, and hint. I'll take top build and hint. Your. So I will I will read the entire thing back to you then, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I just want to make sure. Okay, your year, 1983. Action, sci-fi, and drama are the genres. Your top build is Matthew Broderick, and your hint is military computer. War games. For the lead. Bouncing it right back. You guys are playing volleyball. All right, Jake, so here's the situation. Tug of War is off the table now, but you have a chance to take the lead back and solidify everything you can do up to this point. For four points. Okay. Your year is 2000. Your genres are drama and romance. And your keywords, rural France, single mother, and local shop. Sorry, can I get a repeat there? Um, yeah. Sorry. I'll Your year is Sorry, I, I actually didn't get it. No, yeah. Your genres are drama and romance. Mm-hmm. And your keywords are rural France, <laughs> single mother, and local shop. Um, is uh, this... Uh, at... Emily, a- Emily, Emily, you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, we understand. Okay. And with that said, Bill Cariola is moving on to the uh, finals of Total Roll Recall or Run? 2. <laughs> it was, uh, your answer uh, was Chocolat. Chocolat. Ah, okay. Holy chocolate. cow. Woo. So, uh, we'll start off with Bill real quick. Let, let him, uh, Bill, this, this has been, you know, we know we know you've been doing this for a little bit at this point, and you've you know had your ups and downs. But how do you feel about this? You know, and there will be trivia. We're still working our way up to be you know a little more serious while still being no prep necessary. So it it, it probably has a different feel than normal tournament championship levels. But how do you feel regardless? Every day I wake up, I piss excellence. <laughs> no, 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 but do you know what to do with your hands? <laughs> I don't know what to do with my hands. No, apparently, uh, move over, Stacy, because I am apparently just like the guessing master somehow. <laughs> I have no idea. Just, but uh, I, I don't know, man. Just sometimes my brain just like reacts and gets the right answer. So, uh, I mean, not for nothing. Like, hey, it, it came down to we were going to e- either one of us were answering final questions. So yeah, that, that's not that's not a, that's not a bad match in any stretch. So yeah, uh, hats off to Jake. That was uh, that was it was competitive all throughout. So I had a blast. Uh, apparently, I need to watch thirteen going on thirty, and I know I'm going to hear it. I know I'm sleeping on the couch tonight, but it's fun. <laughs> you can watch that in the big sick as a double feature. Ooh, uh, unfortunately, I can't because I got to watch a movie for Ansel. So. I won't, I won't talk about that here. So. Fair enough. Uh, Jake, uh, you just didn't have it um, in that final question. Now, once you heard the answer, is it one of those where, like, oh, that makes sense, or is it still just one that you just didn't know? No, nah, I was like, uh, it's either that or it's, like, run, Lola, run. I, I don't know. It's one of those I've seen it forever ago, and 
I don't know, my friend's mom, like, Chocola, and, like, it, it's referenced like in I Love You, Man, a few times. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's Chocola. Like, I don't know. I love that movie. <laughs> I, would, I wouldn't have got it, but uh, congrats to Bill. Uh, a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, even if even if uh, Henry didn't dyslexic that question, uh, you still would have beat me handily at the end. So uh, congrats to you. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So, uh, Well, if you did the that... math, it was like, ah, yeah, you would have still won. <laughs> yeah, it would, it would have been all right, but it was a great match regardless. So as you all know, go into this video. This is only part one of the semifinals match. So give us a second, a couple transitions later, and we'll be going on to part two, which is going to be Sean Sandberg versus Max Vincent. So thank you to Bill Cariola, Jay Crookshane, and Jay Burns for this match. See you in part two. All right, and welcome to part two slash just the second half of this uh, championship or semifinal match, I should say. Uh, we are switching it up. We actually are recording this the day after, but it's in one video. So I switched co-hosts, and now I brought in Jen Kemp. Jen, uh, obviously we all know how that first match went, but uh, are you ready? Are you excited to uh, host this one? I know it's been a while since we've actually co-hosted together, and you know we actually haven't done a video in a while either. So you've been busy doing stuff, and I've been doing stuff. So how you feel about this, and what are your thoughts on uh, these two competitors? Oh yeah, I'm totally up on everything that's been going on, and there will be trivia. Absolutely, I I follow it very very closely, and I definitely know who these two are, and every single piece of their in and outs and strengths and weaknesses. And I wasn't just asked to be on this 30 seconds ago. Uh, no, I'm very excited <laughs> to be here. I think this is technically the first time I hosted a trivia match, so my oh, yeah. apologies in advance. Playing. I'm used to you. Yeah, playing. I'm used yeah, to just playing. I'm used to just coming in and wrecking shops. So I'm gonna try really hard not to shout out the answers for these guys and let them shine. But uh, yeah, it's good to be here. I, I I think that they would hope that you don't shout the answers because they know that you would know them more than them. But we'll see we'll see how that goes. But uh, <laughs> well, good luck to you and your uh, your first time co-hosting with me. And let's go ahead and see what uh, both of them have to say. Ah, oh, meme queen, you wound me. God, um, it's good to be back. Um, yeah, Max played lights out in his last match. It's gonna be a lot of fun playing him tonight. Once again, just back here to have some fun. I'm just enjoying myself being back into trivia in more of like a lighter sort of capacity. But yeah, let's get going on this time. I think I'm still muted. Oh no, I don't think I'm muted anymore. doesn't matter. I'm here, ready to play, ready to win by winging it. So there you go. And just like that, we are ready for the second half. I promise you, if you watch the first half, that uh, I'm getting used to these new transitions that I made that I haven't obviously shown yet, but uh, I'm already mentally prepared for them. So uh, with that said, round one is... Locked in. In case you don't remember, if you need to check to multiple choice, you're more than welcome to. If not, I mean, don't. Answer for two points. Uh, Jen, do you like odds or evens? Odds. Um, all right, then, uh, Jen, you will go first, because you're number one. And, uh, Sean, are you ready? Good to go. Max, are you ready? I guess. I love it. Uh, Jen, hit him in the face. Okay, gentlemen, uh, your first question. What is the name of the first ghost we see in 13 Ghosts? Uh, Jen, unfortunately, you didn't get a chance to uh, do this uh, rendition of the Ruby Trivia. Do you, do you like the concept of the locked-in? Or is it one of those where you're like... I do. I, I think it's it's nice to have that option, honestly, because you never right. know when someone's going to hit. I'm going to need multiple. Multiple choice. Okay. Your options are A, the torso, B, the hammer, C, the jackal, and D, the juggernaut. Uh, unfortunately, the meme queen's not in there because you're not a ghost yet, but... Definitely. Uh, every time you're that saying you that I'm passe and I'm going to die. <laughs> maybe one day. You are. You are. You are into witchcraft, so you might be able to bring yourself back. Five, <laughs> four, three, two, one. Sean. Uh, I went with a guess with the torso. And Max. I also guessed. I guess the juggernaut. D. Which one's correct, Jen? Juggernaut is the answer. Congratulations. That is correct. One point. All right, bouncing over question two. What is the nickname of the porn star who always wears skates in Boogie Nights? 
multiple choice for me. Locked in. All right, Sean's locked in. Max, multiple choice. Five, four, three, two. All right, one. All right, just for Max, is it A, Derby Girl, B, Girl on Wheels, C, Roller Girl, or D, Skater Chick? Interesting uh, names there. Curious I guess I'm... Uh... Which one? I guess I just both gonna... winged it again. And it, he just he just uh, skated his way into this one. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, I'll see myself out. Uh, Sean for two points potentially. Roller girl. And Max for one point. I don't have it. A, a skater chick. Ooh, it is in fact roller girl, and Sean takes a two-one lead. Okay, ready, gentlemen. Uh, question number three. What actor has voiced a cat, a Bengal tiger, a sea lion, and a bull? It's a bit of a thinker. Jen, if you had to voice one of these, which would it be? I mean, doesn't everyone want to be a tiger at some point in their life? But I'm probably more of a cat. Um, Peter Parker's a tiger. Five. <laughs> Four, I'm locking in. Three. I'm going to lock in as well. Ooh, reluctant, Ooh. Uh, very hesitation and locked in. Five, four, three, two, one. Jen, who do you want to call on first? Uh, let's see if he can wing it one more time. Here we go. Max. She set you up. Antonio Banderas? And Sean. Uh, I went with Idris Elba. One of you is correct. It's correct. It is Idris Elba. Four to one, Sean's favor. Uh, bouncing over to question four. Which actress plays Jude Quinn, a representation of Bob Dylan in the film I'm Not There? You I'm also going to lock in even. Uh, quick lock in. That one. Oh, look at that. They're like, they're like, who, need, who needs to extend these run times on these videos? We're locking in. I think this is the one thing that people know about this film, so I'm not too surprised about this lock Five, in. Five, four, three, two... One, uh, Sean. Kate Blanchett. And Max. It is Kate Blanchett. All right. So since apparently this was so easy, comment below if you did not know this, so we can make fun of you in the comments. Apparently you're the only one in the world. <laughs> question five, Jen. All right. Question number five. What is the name of the first website Zuckerberg creates in the Social Network, and technically in real life? Multiple choice. I'm multiple choice. I'll know. Okay. All right. Pay attention because they're all very similar. A, face mash. B, face cash. C, face smash. D, face bash. Don't have any good, any good, uh, clever jokes for this one. No, it's just Zuckerberg is the devil. That's all it is. Oh, I get it, because Jesse Eisenberg was in a movie called Double. Five, four, three, two, one. Max. Face smash? Let me see what you wrote, just to be clear. Okay. Smash. And smash. Sean. I also went with face smash. Very close, but the answer was face mash, as in mash. Uh -oh. Yeah. yeah. If he would have smashed him, I think he would have had a different lawsuit on his hands. Uh, your final question <laughs> in round one. <laughs> Ooh, we're on a roll here. Uh, if you made it this far in the video, you might as well like it because uh, you already saw the first match and we're halfway through uh, this one already. Uh, Jason Statham, Claire Forlani, John Reese davies and Ron Perlman appear in what 2007 film? I thought I was going to say TV series, didn't you? <laughs> Hope not. It's not what we signed up for. This is about movie trivia, isn't it? It's also a, a Henry Confidential multiple choice. production. I mix it up. I will also go with multiple choice. Ooh, multiple okay. choice. All right. Five, four, three, two, one. In case you want to change your mind. Is it A, Dungeons and Dragons, Wrath of the Dragon God, B, In the Name of the King, C, Enchanted, or D, Beowulf? In case you were on the fence about being a fantasy film. We should have wrote, in what fantasy film? Five, four, 
three, two, one. Sean, how are you going to end round one? In the name of the king. And Max. In the name of the king. Ooh, we're looking for in the name of the mean queen. Uh, correct, in the name of the king. So after round one, uh, Sean takes a little bit of a lead, seven to four, and we are going to go into... Plus one. Uh, do each of you remember what your plus one was, Sean? Prime. And Max, do you remember what your plus one was? Yeah, directors. Man, we got they're smart. Uh, Jen, do you have a preference of the two uh, genres slash categories? Um, I went first last time, so why don't you take it away? Then I, I guess I'm crime because you know my life is a crime. So That's I'll take true. the crime. You take the directors because you know we love you love directors. Absolutely, Question. it's my favorite thing. <laughs> <laughs> Question one in crime, both were two points. Remember, no multiple choice, so good luck. What is the number of the juror who votes innocent throughout the entire film in 12 Angry Men? Jesus. Just looking for the number. I'm going to guess. That's one strategy. You can use your favorite <laughs> if you need to. And toes, apparently, because 12 Angry Men. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Sean, crime was for you, so I'll let you start. It has been forever since I've seen this. I said juror number eight. And Max. I wrote seven. I had no idea. One of you is correct, and it is the crime fan. Sean, two points. Nine to four. Eight is the correct answer. <laughs> Okay, question number two in director. It's very straightforward. Who directed Jumper? I love just watching Max write. He's just, he just holds it at the top. And, it's, and his handwriting's not as bad as just looking at him write. You assume it would be terrible. It's, it's fine. Like, it's very... And it's not it. terrible. That's my skill. It's an aggressive signature, definitely. Yeah. And it's, like I said, he just, he pretty much, he holds it like a paintbrush, and it's really confusing, but it, it comes out, all right, five. You have no idea the skill it takes. <laughs> Apparently. Yeah, repeat. Repeat? Yeah. yeah. All right, who, who directed jumper and jen that, that it's one of those you're, you're you're new to this atmosphere uh we we do time extensions for you know just literal time extensions and repeats yeah. if you actually need a repeat so i don't really limit the people if they start you know overdoing the time extensions then you know like hey 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 time is money baby five four yeah don't throw that dodgeball at me uh global <laughs> three i bought this this weekend it's great two just I thought you were going to say you've had it for 20 years. Uh, Max, we'll start with you. Uh, Doug Lyman. Whoop, can't see it. And, there it is. And Sean. I didn't know. I wanted to guess it was Stephen Summers. Uh, it was, in fact, Doug Lyman. A huge uh, two points for uh, Max there. Nine to six. Bouncing it back over to crime. How much money does the crew steal from Fenway Park in the town? Excuse me, it's Fenway Park, okay? Like, I, I should have, clearly, I should have taken this category instead. Yeah, we should have did, uh, you read the first, or no, I read the first, you read the next two, then I, you know, we should have did one of those. Because uh, I definitely screwed up. It literally says, Wicked Smot, on my yep. fridge. I got it from my sister, but I messed up. Five. Four. Three. I, that did not work, that accent, for those numbers. That just doesn't translate. Two. And one. Let's go to Sean. Ah, uh. Four million, and Max. I have no idea. I, I wrote a reasonable one hundred and twenty-five thousand uh, dollars. Sean, you're actually pretty close. It was three million. Three million. <laughs> I think they take it a little bit more money than that at Fenway. So yeah. 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 If, if uh, it was during question. the COVID season, maybe they only had one hundred twenty-five thousand. That's true. <laughs> Very true. But the beer money alone, I think, is over one hundred twenty-five thousand. So <laughs> one beer might uh, even be that much. <laughs> one beer. All right. Question number four in directors: What director had directed films featuring Tom Cruise, Vincent D'Onofrio, Kirk Douglas, and James Mason? Oh. By the way, that just reminded. Yeah. Directors. Exactly. By the way, just remind me, shout out uh, Jake Tato. He wrote 90% of this match, so 
I wanted to give him a shout out. He's uh, in the process of starting his own trivia. It's called the Tato 24 hour challenge. And he's practicing his uh, question writing. Sean? Can I get a repeat on that question just one more time just to make sure? Okay, sure. What director had directed films featuring Tom Cruise, Vincent D'Onofrio, Kirk Douglas, and James Mason? Okay, got it. Shout out Jake Tato, five, four. I still love him here, you know. He helped me out, people, you know, practice their skills. Gotta give him credit. We're a snipper cake, baby. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's how we roll, two and one. Max. Stanley Kubrick. And Sean. Stanley Kubrick. There we go. The reason the reason I, I, I brought that up is because he wanted to uh, throw a Kubrick in there, and I had to readjust the question a little bit to mix it up, and, you know, it made me think, oh, yeah, that's, you know, because the whole time I was like, man, these questions are so great. Great. Did I write them? No, Jake did. Uh, your final question in uh, crime. How does the woman slash witness Ken is trying to kill actually die in a fish called Wanda? That's an now excellent it, question. Now, is it Wanda or is it Wanda? Well, I think we really would ex stress the second A. It would be Wanda. 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 But there's no R. It's really the R is when we get trashy. That's really yeah, the only we, thing. We, we saw it. Five. Four. <laughs> we saw it coming. Three. Repeat, please. Oh, man. He's killing me. He's, you're going to make me implement a rule. Uh, how does the woman... Slash witness, Ken is trying to kill, actually die, in a fish called Wanda. Man, you, you give people an inch and they try and take a mile. You know, he's like, he's like, you oh, said you there's no limits. You're allowed to game the system. You created this, though. Savages. Five, four, three, two, one. Uh, Sean, you're stealing all these repeats. What's your answer? Heart attack. And Max. I have no idea. I wrote, she gets drowned. She drowns herself. I don't know. Unfortunately, <laughs> we were looking for heart attack. Oh, uh, yes, heart attack is correct. It was a wicked bad heart attack, yes. Wicked. Uh, fun fact, it was, he was, she was trying to kill her, accidentally kills her dogs, and after yeah. the, she witnesses the dog die, she has a heart attack. Uh, Jen, final question in round two. All right, final question in directors. Who directed Coraline? Sometimes we don't want to waste ink, parchment, you know, when we're writing these questions. You know, we're run, running out of our quills. They're getting a little dry. Yep. We do not pay by the letter, so. We, do. And we definitely don't get paid by the letter. Five, four, three, two, one. Max, how are you going to end round two? Henry Selleck. Pretty good first name. And Sean. Henry Selleck. Uh, pretty trash first name. Uh, both of you are correct. Ending round one, Sean is up 15 to Max's 10. But we know that there's plenty of points that you can get in round three, which is simply called... Mm, database. <laughs> Jen's just love it. She's like... The sound effect gets me every time. I always think, like, I got disconnected. It's very <laughs> abrupt. <laughs> uh, Sean, you're currently in the lead. Do you want to flip heads or tails? Go with tails. And it lands on tails. All right, so you get tails. Uh, Max gets heads. It's a little joke. You know, it's just how we separate the categories instead of saying one or two. Uh, I'll, I will ask for Max just to give Jen a kind of a, a vibe of how it goes. All right, Max, from heads. For two points. Your year is 2006. Your genres are animation, comedy, and family. And your co-stars are Larry the Cable Guy, Paul Newman, and Bonnie Hunt. Cars. You drove your way to two more points. Uh, we're going to your three-pointer, and this is to tie it up. Your year is 1954. Your genres are drama, musical, and romance. Please pick two of the following of director, top build, and hint. Uh, director and top build. All right, I'll give you your... I'll repeat it again. Your year is 1954. Your genres are drama, musical, and romance. Your director is George Cukor, and your top build is Julie, Judy Garland. Uh, Star is born. Hey. Star has to be born to avoid a TKO. There you go. Tying it up. So 
We're going to bounce over to Sean. Jen, do you think you got it? Oh, I think I do, but I think you specifically gave me tails because there's a really weird pronunciation coming up in this one. All right, here we go. Question number one. <laughs> the year two, 2002, your categories are animation, adventure, and comedy. Okay. I'll take and, and I, No, this one is just all of them. It's the co-stars. Just the yeah. Thing. yeah. Yep. All right, so your co-stars are, forgive me already, so Garan Visnik? Ray Romano and John Leguizamo. Ice Age. Yes. You, you, <laughs> you, gotta, throw one, you gotta throw the one weird one in there because it's yeah. <laughs> you, you, maybe, maybe you, yes, you got not. something against Dennis Leary. <laughs> like, he he actually he was no he was the top build he's the number one so okay. yeah I am a Bill Hicks fan just like just like in uh, Cars uh, Owen Wilson's the number one so yeah that's how it goes on IMDb it gives you the top four we do the the next three. Uh, all right, so we're going to bounce back over to Max. He has to hit his four-pointer here to stay alive. If he does not, Sean will be moving on to play Bill Carriola in the finals. If Max hits his four-pointer, then pressure will be put on Sean. Max, you ready? I guess. Your year is 1995. Your genres are action, comedy, and crime. And your keywords are subway fares, foster brother, and New York City. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, this is going to be a guess. Die Hard with a Vengeance? Moving on to the championship yeah. against Bill Cariola, Sean Sandberg. Sean, this is uh, something that's been, uh, I mean, it, if you know your track record, you know that this is something that is not new to you, historically speaking, but it's something that it's been a while since it's happened. How do you feel? I feel really good. I mean, like, just getting back into everything and then going to 4-0 and and now playing for a title is pretty fucking crazy. You take an entire year off and then your memory goes to shit and you play a terrible first match and then all of a sudden... <laughs> You don't think you're going to go anywhere past that. And it's just, I feel like I've stumbled into all of this a little bit. And I'm going to be honest with you, with the way that he played against Aaron last time, he was so fucking lights out that I was literally just like, it's going to be a long fucking night for me. So, yeah, I feel yeah, so great. That, Max, that's what they say, right? How, how it goes with the questions. And, you know, you guys um, were pretty even in round two, and round one was literally the dif difference. You had a couple more in round one. The, the the choice of going multiple choice versus not multiple choice, getting the ones that you got, you know what I mean? So, uh, Max, with that said, uh, what, what are your thoughts? Uh, you had a really good tournament. We know your thought process going in on this. It's, hey, show up, answer some questions, and, you know, however yeah. it goes, it goes. But what are your thoughts? What was the answer, though? Oh, we were looking for Money Train. Money Train. Ah, okay. I see. Woody Harrelson and Wesley no. Snipes reuniting at post White Man Can't Jump. I mean, okay. Die Hard with Vengeance not a bad guess. They're, That's actually they're a, that is actually a movie that got answered in testing. So yeah, not not yeah. bad. But uh, overall speaking, uh, Max, what were your thoughts on your performance today, and what were your thoughts on this tournament? Because like you said, going into most of these trivia things, you just show up and play, and you know you actually made it really that, far. That, How do you feel? <laughs> That's all I do. That's all I'm going to continue to do. And uh, <laughs> sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But hey, it's like you know, point for. Exactly. I mean, literally, that's why I created a quote-unquote no prep uh, league, just because of, you know, literally anyone can show up, anyone can play, anyone can win, and apparently that's what we've gotten this part far. We've actually had some quote-unquote stars in this tournament, and now we have a, a reoccurring star, Sean, making his way back to stardom, and I'm, I'm definitely happy to see it. Sean's someone that, you know, I've had a lot of experience uh, with playing uh, against and, you know, having some fun winning and losing to him, so I'm glad to see him there. And Max, you know, once again, he the way he approaches things. Uh, Jen, what were your thoughts? This is your first time co-hosting. How, how do you rate your co-hosting skills, and uh, what are your thoughts on There Will Be Trivia? I do not rate myself. I don't, you know, my letterbox. I haven't logged anything in a really long time. I don't rate shit. Uh, but no, these guys, they've played great. Uh, really good questions from Tato. Like, yeah, this is really a cool, different way of approaching movie trivia because everyone has really approached it by now. And uh, yeah, congratulations. And uh, I'm jealous of your dodgeball skills while you also play trivia too. So 
Congrats to both of you. Fantastic. Oh. Uh, <laughs> um, way to multitasking. Uh, so with that said, if you made it this far in the video, uh, big shout out to Bill Cariola, big shout out to uh, Sean Sandberg, but also big shout out to Jay Kirkshank and Max Vincent, our unfortunate uh, second place finishers today. But uh, once again, if you made it this far in the video, you probably liked it because you watched two matches. Uh, drop a like on the video. Comment below your predictions and all the, you know, answers that you got correct and got wrong uh your thought process on uh jen's uh hosting because she's fantastic we want to see more of her uh co us and maybe in the finals so with that said henry confidential jen Kent, make sure you watch her on the schmodown because she's been uh doing really well lately you know even if, even if the record doesn't show the the trivia does and that's all that matters that shows that you have some good um skills there and uh i'm trying to double this here so i don't have to move two fingers but uh sean and max uh shout out to them and shout out to jake tato for writing uh this match, the majority of it. Henry Confidential, the Urban Trivia, we are out.